sir. Welcome back. It's your boy. Your boy, he nizzle. He nizzle, he wizzle, he fizzle. Gotta promote safety. Gotta stay safe out there. Wear your mask. Welcome back. It's been a while. I'm not gonna explain why it's been a while. We'll get down. I might explain that later. I might not. Probably won't. I don't care. All that matters is I'm back. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm back on my ish. Peep the goat in the background. You know, I gotta show homage. Speaking of homage and showing respect, we're about to react to uh, Big Sean, Deep Reverence. Um, which came out two days ago. Uh, and it was a perfect song for me to start back up the YouTube channel and react to. Um, this one features Nipsey Hustle. Uh, R.I.P. to him. Uh, also take a moment to R.I.P. to Chadwick. <sighs> that one hurt. At this point in 2020, I don't even know what hurt no more, but that one hurt. What they gonna do about Black Panther 2? That one hurt. But uh, yeah, deep reverence. Um, Sean's supposed to drop an album. We ain't heard from Sean in a minute. He was he's supposed to drop an album this year. I had heard about this at the beginning of the summer. Uh, about reports and stuff and I knew Nipsey was on it but yeah uh, deep reverence reverence is me you have respect from somebody so deep reverence I'm assuming he's paying homage to Nipsey he has a deep reverence for Nipsey um, I guess the album's called Detroit 2 that's a lot of graphic stuff going on trying to analyze this this picture the flowers are upside down they're beating on that hovering in the sky well that doesn't matter we finna go ahead and react to this and yeah I don't got the famous uh, mots but I'll get it eventually without further ado Big Sean featuring MC Hubsle Deep reverence. Nipsey again. That was very uh, Nipsey esque. It's it, from Nipsey. But, um, I fuck with it. I fuck with it so far. It was seen that's just like a verse Nipsey wrote. And they had it. And Big Sean had it. Uh, uh, had access to it. Or him and Nipsey had already been working on it. Because Sean ain't dropped the album like three years, four years. So I'm assuming Nipsey had probably started on something with it, with them, and they never finished it. Um, but yeah, that was very nipsey -ish. Flex a little bit. You know he from the streets, the C-section line. What does he say? I'm a street legend, block love me with a deep reverence. I was birthed in a C-section. So, you know, a C-section. But, uh, a, is he referring to Crip? No, he was a Crip. C-Session, Crip, Crip, yeah. That's nasty. Uh, presence, we ops. We got ops, so we keep weapons. Mm-hmm. Helicopters and police presence. We got ops, so we keep weapons. Uh, yes, sir. Still learning to shoot that. Put a mouse in my fresh ground. That's grind. You teach, catch it. Mm-hmm. 
from the mastermind first your master grind then your team catch it yeah i like i like the word play there yeah yeah give me something to listen to uh but yeah when you see i guess that nipsey part is probably the i don't know if that's a verse or if that's like the hook or something but you see his voice start to fade out a little bit and then big sean start to come in a little bit i don't know kind of resemblance like yeah obviously nipsey is gone and I don't know, I like the transition there though. You kinda get numb I'm and the dog, the street set it. Big Sean come in. And then the I'm the Don, you know they call uh, Big Sean. Sean Don. Respect on both ends. So if they did make this song together before Nip passed, that's a respect on both ends, so that's what's up. I'm the dog, the street set it. And I got pressure on me. Seven days a week is game seven on me. Life and test you out. Should do that? That's testimony. <laughs> Giving them hell, but how in the hell I got all these blessings on me? Ooh, no, no, no. Sean. Big Sean Don, I miss you, fool. Sean Don, I miss you, fool. I got pressure on me. Seven days a week. It's game seven on me. <sighs> Life tests you out. You live through that. That's a testimony. <laughs> Giving him hell, but now in the hell, I got all these blessings on me. Breach. Breach. Do that, that's testimony. Giving him hell, but how in the hell, I got all these blessings on me. Most of the girls I know addicted to social media. All the time they put in, they could have wrote encyclopedias. Mama said it only takes one time to fuck up your whole Wikipedia. And as your son, I can see the type of life that you see me in. After what happened in Nipsey, I reached out to Kendrick. It wasn't even no real issues there to begin with. Lack of communication and wrong information from people fueled by the ego is like mixing flames with diesel. Energy crazy, I realized that it's a two-way street. What's coming is going if it don't give you more, it drains you. Should be a billionaire based on the time off I'm not taking. Probably why this shit with me get crazy and we lost the baby. Oh, so that must have been with them little, we lost the baby. Rumors coming out. Uh, if y'all didn't know, apparently him and Janae, uh, Janae got pregnant, but they had a miscarriage. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's when he dropped it in here. Energy crazy, I realized that's a two-way street. What's coming, it's going. If it don't give you more, it drains you. Dropping them gems per usual. Should be a billionaire based on the time off I'm not taking. Should be a billionaire based on the time off I'm not taking. He's talking about his work ethic. Ooh, probably why his shit with me get crazy and we lost the baby. Okay, okay, okay. So I don't know if he's attributing how hard he worked to him losing a baby. And now like we was talking about before, he was talking about the uh, social media-ish with the girls. Um, he said he talked about reaching out to Kendrick too. Like, there was, a, there was some beef there. He said none were issues, but lack of communication and wrong information from people fueled by the egos. It's like mixing flames with diesel. Mm. And about the girls, most of the girls I know addicted to social media. All they put in, they, all the time they put in, they could have wrote encyclopedias. Mama said it only takes one time to fuck up your Wikipedia. People, all people make their own Wikipedias. You know, Wikipedia, where people go in and put in information. It don't take one time to fuck up your Wikipedia. As your son, I can see the type of light that you see me in. Heard, 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 heard. <laughs> the time off, I'm not taking. Probably why this shit with me get crazy and we lost the baby. And everybody around me think I'm the one. Yeah. Oh, we all just one of ones. And I'm walking out the crib, they ask me where I'm going. I told them I'm going on another 10 year run. Niggas is banging over blocks that they don't own. Thinking that's home. Boy, you think that's where you from? You don't really know where you from. You don't know how deep your roots is, but your ass has his head down. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. He talking that shit now. Okay, hold up, hold up. He getting busy. Oh, my God. Okay, 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 okay. Where are we go to? Uh. Everybody around me think I'm the one, but we all just one of ones. We all unique in our own essence. I guess what he's trying to say. And I'm walking out the crib. They asked me where I'm going. I told them I'm going on another 10-year run. So I guess that little three-year, four-year break was uh, 
him to recenter his, you know, now that he done made it, he done made it to the, you know, I would say top five mainstream lyrically. Yeah, I put him up there. Um, but yeah, you know, from when we was like kids, I know when I was a kid, Sean came out, when I was like 12, 13. It's two, I'm 21 now, so it's almost been it almost been 10 years, but I'm pretty sure he was on the scene before that. That's just when he got real famous, when I was 12 or 13. So I'm pretty sure uh, he had been popular before that. But he he getting active now. What did he say after that? Niggas is banging over blocks. They don't even own. Thinking that's home, boy. You think that's where you're from? You don't know where you're really from. That's, ooh. That ain't the truth. Don't know what it is. He said, people who out there gangbanging stuff, I mean, in gangs and stuff, obviously you're products of your environment, but you're so quick to protect something you don't even own. Like, you say that's your territory, but you really don't own it, bro. You just, that's just kind of everybody in the neighborhood know that's your, like, area that you be around, but you don't own it. Uh, you don't know where you're from. You don't know how deep your roots is, what your ancestors have done. A lot of black people don't know, and that's that that just is attributed to um, the mental subjugation of black people. We don't know. Most people don't know who Mansa Musa is. What the richest, one of the richest men documented. I know there was this um, thing about Jeff Bezos, and he's about to reach two hundred, two hundred something like of a net worth. Is it two hundred billion? His net, worth, his net worth is that. And it was like, he's the first person to do this. I think it was like six, it was like 200. But in reality, Mesa Musa was estimated to be like 14, or 414 billion, I think. I know he was way above Jeff Bezos, but that's just, uh, like, as black people, we don't we don't know where we come from. And obviously that was taken from us and our, for by our ancestors, or by my ancestors, you know, half white. Um, but yeah, man, that's oof. Talking that, talking that ish. You don't even know where you're from. I'm not. I won't. I'm not gonna say I'm the biggest fan of like the different flow switches on the beat, but it shines. So I'm not gonna complain. But yeah, I don't. I don't it's like uh, 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 I don't. Maybe it'll grow on me. It, it it take a lot to... If it's not Drake or Jermaine... Um, what up, Jermaine? If it ain't Drake or Jermaine, it take a while for me to actually like the song. Most songs. Like, music-wise. I automatically like Drake and Jermaine stuff. Maybe that's because I'm light-skinned. And we all mixed. But, uh... No, I fuck with the message, though. I'm always down for a good message. Niggas is banging over blocks that they don't own. Thinking that's home. Boy, you think that's where you from? You don't really know where you from. You don't know how deep your roots is and what your ancestors had done. So God bless all of the sons and daughters who knew their history so they knew where to take it farther. And all the ones that stuck with me like good barbers. Looking at my life story, God's a good author. Mm -hmm. Never was a lot of sin in room. We move like ninjas. And if it costs you peace of mind, it might be too expensive. Ooh. So I can give you everything that you want from me for free, though. Get you one shot in life you might not be able to read. So oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. You get into a bag, you get into a bag now. Oh. And if you cost your peace of mind, it might be too expensive. And if it, no, it's, if it costs me my peace of mind, it might be too expensive. Ooh. 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 So I can't give you everything that you want from me for free, though. Get you one shot in life. You might not be able to reload. One shot. You only get one shot. Don't fuck with my peace of mind. Don't fuck with my peace of mind. Are you out of here? It ain't nothing. Cut that bitch off. And that's not just with females. That's with anybody. That's with males. That's with your homies. Anybody. Yes, sir. Get active. Be able to reload. So advanced, I need all my advances. Mm -hmm. Bro, hit me up for cash like we done had the same chances. My dad hit me up like, why I don't live in a mansion? Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Bro, hit me up. Bro, bro, hit me up for cash like we didn't have the same chances. 
I ain't never had this personally happen to me, but I know it's a thing. And I probably will have this to me happen this happen to me one day once I blow up, you know? I'm gonna be famous for something. But uh I got a feeling that people like you always got that one homeboy who's like, nah, eh, you know, he supports you a little bit, might not, might support you heavy. And then when you make it, you like, hey, let me let me get some of that bread. Like, let me host some. You got all this, let me spread the wealth. Sean, like, hey fool, we had the same chances. When I got my call, you just I got my call. You got you probably got a call too. You just didn't answer. Come on now, talking that shit. I'm trying to focus, but baby girl keep holding my mind for ransom, and that ain't how it's supposed to be. This man home got to a beat, and his name shine too. I almost felt like it was me. Damn, I realized all my setbacks were inside of me. In high school, I learned chemistry, biology, but now how to cope with anxiety. But how I could feel like I'm by myself on an island with depression on all sides. Mm. Setbacks were inside of me. In high school, I learned chemistry, biology, but not how to cope with anxiety. But how I could feel like I'm by myself on an island with depression on all sides. In high school, I learned chemistry, biology, but not how to cope with my anxiety. You know how they be saying high school really worked this. Like, school damn near worked this. Like, you can learn this shit. You can teach this shit to yourself or your kids. And you never going to use that shit again. Like, unless you specifically go into being a biologist or a chemi or, I'm going to say, chemistress. A chemist. Like, you never going to use, like, Y equals MX plus B squared. Like, wait, why? Is it, is it Y equals MX plus B plus, plus, plus B squared? See, look, I forgot the equation. Y equals MX plus B. I think it's Y. Yeah. I think it's algebra, which I'm really good at, but I ain't see, done that. I ain't used that shit ever since. Um, but he's talking about dealing with real shit. Like, in school, they teach you all this knowledge, but what you really learning? What you actually, what real knowledge you gathering or taking in that you can keep for the rest of your life and actually develop you as an individual? You talking that shit. But how I could feel like I'm by myself on an island with depression on all sides of me. With a Glock 17 right on the side of me. Look, I ain't think I had a daughter suicide in me until life showed me all these different sides of me. Ooh. <sighs> That's tough. That No, no, no. That's tough. I didn't think I had the thought of suicide in me until life showed me all the different sides of me. That fame, everybody's so quick to tame. They don't show you what it really is about, man. Everybody's so quick to, oh, I want to be famous. Everybody on Insta social media trying to get their followers up, trying to get everybody to look at you. Just like it got a bright side, it got a dark side, too. Be aware of that. Be aware of that. That's you talking about some real shit. Look, I ain't think I had a thought of suicide in me until life showed me all these different sides of me. Too many times I thought the Reaper was outside for me. And how the fuck is people that never met me that hate me? I wonder if they understand that I meditate there. Yeah. I feel like my life purpose is to give inspiration. Despite the hit songs, that there's just no escaping. And I take care of my family and beat the opposite with deadly. You hate that, that just reflects your lack of succession. Bless them. If it ain't Nipsey, who is Detroit Blue? It's that Detroit too. I'm bringing it back to my hood like D Boys do. Go. So I was right. They was talking about doing a song um, prior. Or from what I can tell, they were talking about doing a song prior to Nipsey's death. Um, but yeah, I fucked with it. That's definitely getting added on my phone. Uh, like I said, the music aspect of it. it Sean always got these weird... 
strategies or ways about attacking a beat. Like it's never. I'm not gonna say it's blue facious because that man don't know how to jump on any beat or get in any rhythm. But it's very uh, random. Like you just wouldn't expect a flow on that beat. But then he always tie tie it back into something that sounds good. So. Yeah, I'm definitely got to listen to that again. It definitely take two listens for me to register everything. It definitely he was talking his shit. Uh, like I said, R.I.P. to Nipsey. And uh, appreciate y'all watching the video. If you haven't watched any of my other videos, please go check them out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. He nods out. Holla.